Hello and welcome to My Code Coffee. This is chapter 3 in the series of Bitcoin blockchain. In previous chapter, I explained that Bitcoin public key is generated from private key using elliptic curve cryptography or to be precise, elliptic curve multiplication. In this chapter of elliptic curve cryptography, I will explain what is elliptic curve multiplication and if you can get public key from private key, why can't you get private key from public key? Let us find out. In previous chapter, we learned that public key is generated by applying elliptical curve multiplication on private key. In this chapter, we will understand what is elliptical curve addition and multiplication. You must be knowing that you can represent a mathematical equation in a graph. For example, y equals to mx plus c is the equation of a straight line. Similarly, y square equals to x cube plus ax plus b is the equation of an elliptical curve. Bitcoin uses a specific elliptical curve and set of mathematical constants as defined by a standard called SECP256K1. When SECP256K1 constants are applied to elliptical curve, it produces an elliptical curve which has the equation y square modulo p equals to x cube plus 7 modulo p, where p is a very large prime number or this to be precise. So this is the Bitcoin elliptic curve equation. You should be knowing the meaning of modulo p. Here y square modulo p means remainder value when you divide y square by p. For example, 163 modulo 10 equals to 3 because 3 is the remainder when you divide 163 by 10. So this equation is saying that if x y is a point on Bitcoin elliptic curve, then if you divide y square by p, you get the same remainder when you divide x cube plus 7 by p. Now without this modulo p, the equation would be y square equals to x cube plus 7. So this is basically elliptic curve equation over real numbers and the resulting graph is an elliptic curve as shown. However, modulo p indicates that this curve is over a finite field of prime order p where p is a very large prime number. And what we get out of this equation is not really an elliptic curve but a pattern of dots. However, these dots have the same property as the points on an elliptic curve. So let us talk about some of the important properties of elliptic curve. In an elliptic curve, if you draw a line, it will intersect at at most three points. This is true even for this pattern of dots. If you draw a line starting from any dot, it will cut at at most two more dots and not more than that. The second property of elliptic curve is that every point in an elliptic curve has a reflect in the x-axis. This second property is also true for the dots pattern that we get out of SECP256K1 elliptic curve equation. So this elliptic curve equation used by Bitcoin which results in pattern of dots and a normal elliptic curve equation have same properties. So to understand elliptic curve addition and multiplication, let us use this curve instead of dot patterns because it is easy to visualize a curve. So what is elliptic curve addition? If there are two points P1 and P2 on elliptic curve and if you draw the line joining P1 and P2, it will intersect the curve at at most one more point. Let us call it P3 dash. Of course, when we drop a perpendicular line on X axis, it intersects the curve at a point which is the reflect of P3 dash. Let us call it P3. Point P3 is known as the sum of P1 and P2. So here P3 equals to P1 plus P2. This is how addition is defined on elliptic curve. So to summarize, if you want to add two points on elliptic curve, draw a line joining these two points, get the third point where your line is intersecting the curve, get the reflect of this point. This reflect is the sum of two initial points. Now if P1 and P2 are the same point, your line becomes a tangent to that point. Let us refer this point as G. So in this case, your tangent will cut the curve at a point and you will get the reflect of that point by dropping a perpendicular line on X axis and see where this line is cutting the curve. This new point P is equal to G plus G or 2G. Suppose you want to multiply G and K. So obviously it means you have to add G K times. Basically K multiplied by G means g plus g plus g, you know, k times. So you will continue this process of addition till you get kg. 
So let us resume from where we left. We were at 2G. Now draw a tangent on this point. Let us say it is cutting the curve at this point. Drop a perpendicular from this point. The point where this perpendicular will cut the curve is 2G plus 2G equals to 4G. Let us do the same exercise again. Draw a tangent on 4G. See at which point it is cutting the curve. Drop a perpendicular line from that point on X axis and mark the point on the curve which is intersected by this line. This is 4G plus 4G equals to 8G. You can keep on doing this till you get the value Kg. So this is how multiplication is defined on elliptic curve. So now that you know what is elliptic curve multiplication, let us understand how public key is generated. Public key is generated by multiplying private key and a point called generator point on elliptic curve. If we refer public key as P and private key as T, then P equals to T into G on an elliptic curve. Or to be more precise, T into G on SECP 256 key of an elliptic curve. Here G is the generator point which is a fixed point on the elliptic curve. In a simple multiplication what we have been reading from our childhood, if you know the value of P and G, you can easily calculate the value of T by dividing P with G. This is not the case with elliptic curve multiplication. Because here to get the value of t, you will have to find out how many times you need to trace back the path so that you can reach to the generator point g. Now given the fact that Bitcoin uses a special elliptic curve equation with modulo p where p is a very large prime number and the equation generates a huge pattern of dots, it is practically impossible to get the value of t by tracing back to the generator point value from public key point value. It will need such a huge amount of computational power that it becomes economically unviable to do that. And that is why we say that generation of public key from private key is a one-way process. You can generate public key with the help of private key, but you cannot generate private key using public key. Now that you know that public key is the result of elliptic curve multiplication and it is a point on the elliptic curve, the question is how you represent these keys in different formats. This is something we will cover in next chapter. Click on the next video and enjoy the taste of my code coffee. If you now want to move to the next chapter, you can click on this card. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon because so many interesting videos are on the way. For easy navigation to all chapters, visit mycodecoffee.com. Thank you so much for watching.